In today's video we're just going to talk about customising the touch tab menu in the Panasonic GH6. So um, in a different video we went through the uh, touch settings on the camera. Um, I'll link that above if you haven't seen that video but essentially in the uh, cog and then the scroll wheel um, section of the camera in the menu um, we can get into touch settings. Like I say you watch the other video if um, you sort of don't know what a lot of these are. Um, but essentially the one we're going to talk about today is touch tab so if we jump in and we switch that on and the touch tab is this menu down the side so if we go back and switch it off you can see we don't have this kind of right side menu so we'll come back switch that back on by default it's off um, it was one on the previous GH cameras like on the GH5 um, it, it was more of a more of a prominent thing but in this it's sort of been uh, taken away by default but you can add it in um, so essentially what it does you've got a couple of um, options in there for um, you know your your main video modes creative mode um, and then the most useful one really um, is the the function one at the bottom uh, so you can see in there by default I've got three in there I've got Wi-Fi histogram um, and the stabilization one so um, it, what you can do if we come back into the menu um, and we drop down two below where we were so again we're menu cog and then the sort of scroll dial uh, we're in the FN button set so the function button set menu we jump into that uh, we want the top one setting in record mode so press OK on that and then what you'll be able to see if we scroll through this you can use the dial on the side um, if we come off of here into the next menu um, you'll be able to see those kind of familiar ones here so we've got function 4 was Wi-Fi, function 5 was uh, histogram and then we've got stabilization there for 6 uh, so we can jump into any of them so um, Wi-Fi is not a bad shortcut to be honest neither is histogram uh, stabilization could be useful um, but if, if say for example you didn't want the um, that boost on there if you didn't use it um, you could just essentially change that to something different. Say you wanted the level gauge instead of that. If we jump back out now, um, you'll be able to see that we've got the level gauge there now, which we can toggle on and off. Um, you can also, if we go to uh, back into the menu, jump into the function set, uh, we'll be able to do... Uh, say function 7 uh, they're set to off by default so um, something like DR boost could be really useful in there so we could put that on and then you can see now we've got um, the option of DR boost um, <laughs> I'm having a bit of trouble clicking in and out of the menu like I say it's I'd said in the previous touch settings video it's, it's not really my favorite menu to be working in I prefer setting the physical buttons um, which I'll link a video to how to do that, setting the physical front and back buttons, just having those mapped out, um, and also using the Q or quick menu as well, which again, I'll, I'll link to that above. Um, I mean, they're my preferences over the touch tab menu, but the touch tab menu, you know, for some people, they'll find this really useful. So it's, um, it's still worth sort of jumping into. Um, one thing you'll notice on there, um, it starts at um, function four or FN four, um, and the reason for that um, sort of becomes clear when you come into the function button set because you'll see in here that um, as you go through, um, so we've got say function one is here, but it's actually it's a physical button. Um, they don't really <laughs> go in a very good order on this. Uh, function two again, it's one of your front buttons. Function three is a is a front button. Um, so really the, um, the the additional ones uh, they can all be part of the part of the touch tab so you can um, you, you can set a few in there that um, that you want you can see which ones are um, which ones are physical buttons and which ones will be available in the touch tab you've got um, essentially functions four through eight so you've got you've got room for those in there um, and they can be any anything you want like I say you know the, there's only three set by default um, which you can change anyway. Uh, sorry, um, five in there. What am I talking about? Um, so yeah, you've, you've got uh, three set by default and two spare slots. 
um, and those five can be anything you want so um, yeah you can go in and change those um, the, there's a ton of like customizability in the, in the camera and um, you know just because that's the way I don't kind of like working in it in this touch tab menu it's not to say that it's not the way you won't want to work in it because you know that's what I really like about this camera that it's just it's so flexible for any kind of uh, workflow that people want to use with it so um, yeah hopefully that's um, that's kind of given you an idea of how to get in and start um, setting that menu and um, if the video helped um, I'd appreciate you giving it a like and um, if you want to see more GH6 content then uh, please subscribe to the channel.